Welcome to West 3 News. Today we are going to talk about hurricanes. First, we will talk about how they form. Hurricanes always form over an ocean, and when warm, moist air rises, it coils to form clouds. As more air rises, it creates an area of low pressure. As this process continues, a tropical depression forms. Tropical depressions bring thunderstorms with winds between 22 through 39 miles per hour. Air continues to rise, rotating counterclockwise. The storm builds to a tropical storm when, we, when winds reach above 40 miles per hour. This continues for a while till the winds exceed 74 miles per hour, and then it's considered a hurricane. We have a roaming reporter, Kelly Carney, who has volunteered to take part in showing how the forces of Mother Nature feel. Kelly, are you ready? Thanks for the introduction, Brandon. This Category 1 hurricane isn't so bad. We have winds from 75 miles per hour and a little rain, but it's not bad enough to evacuate the area. You also wouldn't need to board up your windows or freak out. If you got caught in this storm, just stay inside. The Category 1 hurricane doesn't look very scary, so people should stay inside to avoid any injury. Let's look at what makes this a Category 2 hurricane. A Category 2 hurricane has faster wind speed and usually has more rainfall. Kelly, are you ready to show a Category 2 hurricane? Thanks, Brandon. A Category 2 hurricane has winds from 96 miles to 110 miles. And this rain is a little heavier, but it's still not enough to evacuate the area. You, you definitely want to stay inside and don't drive anywhere. Be sure to have plenty of non-perishable food on hand. So that's a Category 2 hurricane? Doesn't seem so bad, right? Now how about a Category 3 where you can get winds from 111 to 130 miles per hour and there can be considerable damage to some homes around the coastline. Let's see what a Category 3 hurricane looks like, Kelly. It's really windy out here and you have to watch out for branches and other debris. If you are by the coastline, report up your windows and stock up on non-perishable food like soup and other canned goods. Fruit and meat are some foods you really don't want to pack. Make sure you have plenty of gas in your car, so if we tell you to evacuate, you can. Wow, Kelly, that looks really dangerous. You should watch out for all that debris. Do you know what is even more dangerous, though? A Category 4 hurricane. Anybody along the coastline should evacuate, even if you're a few miles inland. So show us a Category 4 hurricane, looks like, Kelly. Wow, it's really windy out here. I can barely stand. There's water up my knees. The winds here are from 131 to 155 miles per hour. If you have a house with a weak frame, then you then it might fall apart. You definitely need to evacuate then. I mean, anyone around the coastline, definitely evacuate up or north. Debris is everywhere. That's a wrap, Brandon. Back to you. Man, I wouldn't be standing out there if I were you. That thing looks deadly. Watch out for that debris. Now, let's see what a Category 5 hurricane looks like. K Kelly? Oh, there goes Kelly. I sure hope she's alright. Now, that's the danger of a Category 5 hurricane. Basically, don't go outside and please evacuate. Go to China if you have to. Goodbye for now and have a sunny non-hurricane day.